Hey everybody, welcome to Mike's World. Today we're going to be talking about the DSAN Time Prompt Model TP2000. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button, always leave a comment, and then click on that notification bell and you'll know every time we upload a new video. Uh, so let's get started on the review of the DSAN Time Prompt. Now what this basically is, it's a, it's a timer. It can be used for various things, lectures, debates, things like that. So let's get started. We'll show you everything about the new DSAN time prompt. So this is the DSAN TP2000 time prompt. It basically comes in a hard case. You get the prompt and you get a USB cable to connect it to your computer so you can program it. We don't need that right now. So this is the prompt. You can tell it has a green light, yellow light, red light, and some of the buttons start and stop, reset, Auto beep, you can set that so that it automatically beeps when it hits certain points. You can do a manual beep, so whoever's controlling it can actually hit the button and beep it. Clear, and then select programs. On the top, you have a switch to count up or count down. Down here, on, off, and receive. I'll explain that in a second because you can actually, if you connect two of these, one of them can be um, a receive only or a slave to the master. And then you have wireless on off. So these models can be wireless. This actual model is not. So we are not going to have wireless capability, but I'm going to show you how to connect this to another time prompt. On the bottom, we have, of course, the switch, but you have a USB port. And on the top, we have a place for a power supply. This does not come with a power supply. You have to purchase that separately. And you also have an ethernet port. Now what's really important is this port is to connect two of these together. This is not for a data line. Please do not connect an ethernet cable to this that is running your internet or any kind of data through it because it will it'll mess up the unit. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to put it in up to begin with. And as you scroll through here, you can see 50 second, 30 second, 1 to 2 minutes, 2 to 3 minutes, 4 to 5 minutes, 5 to 7 minutes, and so on all the way up to 35 to 45 or 50 to 60 minutes and beyond. 15 to 30 seconds, if I hit start, it will begin counting up. And you'll notice that no lights are on at this moment. Now, this is a default setting. These are default settings, but you can program this uh, to operate however you want. So at 15 seconds, the green light is going to come on. Continues to count. At 23 seconds, the yellow light comes on. And at 30 seconds, the red light. And then you can also have an overtime where it reaches a certain point, this will blink. And then you can also have a point where it actually shuts off. We are going to stop this and reset. So that is your count up. And again, there's different settings. What I'm used to using this for and what a lot of people want this for is for counting down. And so with this particular unit, um, I'm going to show you in a second how to program it. But let's go through this first. So we've got a 45 second countdown. And I'm going to hit start. And notice the green light came on immediately. So I have this programmed to count down at, from 45 seconds. And at 15 seconds, the yellow light's going to come on. So we'll let this count down. And once it reaches 15 seconds, it turns yellow. At zero, it will turn red. And then at 10 seconds past, it will start blinking red. And at 15, it will turn off. And that is your kind of your indicator. Turns red. It will count up 10 seconds. At 10, it begins blinking red. And at 15, it completely shuts off. I hit reset, and it's back. 
I have this program for 45 seconds, one minute, and two minutes. And I have it programmed so that at 15 seconds the yellow light comes on. So they're all the same except the overall length. You can also program it so it starts counting down without a green light, then a green light, yellow light, red light, and each one is an indicator of how much time you have left. This is a great unit for debates. This would be a great timing unit for if somebody is, let's say somebody has a YouTube channel, you're doing stuff and you're time sensitive, you need to keep it to 30 minutes exactly. Maybe you're doing a show for YouTube and one for on air and your segments have to be precise. You can use this to time yourself or you can use this where somebody operates this and a second unit acts as basically the receiver. And I want to show you how that works right now. Um, but first, I want to show you how you program this before we get into uh, how you use two of these together. So this one is already programmed. I have another one that is not programmed. I want to show you right now. We're going to program it, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to program the DSAN time prompt. And it's a pretty easy process, but first you'll need to go to the website dsan.com slash time prompt. And you'll, this is the page you'll see. It's got a pretty easy explanation here, count down programs, count up programs, and there is a little tutorial video that you can also watch. But essentially what you need to do is you need to download this app configuration file. And when you do that, I've already done it in downloads. It'll be right here and you will ex extract the files. You can say extract here and that will create this time prompt programmer file uh, folder. And within that, you want to install this time prompt programmer setup. So this is what you need to install. Once you've done that, connect your time prompt to your computer using the supplied USB cable. And then you want to open up this time prompt programmer. It'll be this right here. And I already have this uh, saved file here. You do a drop down, but we'll, we'll go time prompt defaults to start. This is what will show up when you have it. And so I'm actually going to program a prompt that I haven't programmed yet. So I'm going to load from time prompt. I'm going to hit that complete. And this is what's currently programmed in. So when we look at our count up, here is the name, green at zero, yellow zero. This is uh, over at 30. 15 to 30 seconds, it will turn green at 15, it will turn yellow at 23, it will turn red at 30. This is your count up. For count down, we have the names here, and so 15 seconds. And it will tell you at, it starts at green at 15, turn yellow at 10 seconds, and at 30 seconds it will be over, so at 30 seconds more it will uh, start flashing red, and at 5 minutes it will stop. These are the default settings, and you can see how many of them are in here. And so what we want to do is we want to program a custom. And so what I would suggest is with whatever you're going to do, you get rid of all these, and you only have two, three, four of them programmed in, so it's easy to, uh, to flip through on the time prompt device. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and start deleting these. And unfortunately, you can't select multiples. You've got to delete them one at a time. Okay, so now I've got it down to three, and I'm just going to change the programming for these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this first one, and I'm going to edit it. And so up here, the one thing you want to do is if you manually want to set these, you've got to hit the manual entry. We're going to call this one 45. It's the 45-second countdown. It will be a total of 45 seconds. At green, we, we are going to start it at 45. So it will be green as soon as we start the countdown. Now, you can start the countdown at 45 seconds, and let's say you want it to turn green at 30. So this is where you tell it where to turn green. I want it to turn green right from the beginning, so 45. At 20 seconds, or 15 seconds, it's going to turn yellow. At 0, it's going to turn red. Uh, it, actually, it's going to turn red at, let's say, 10 seconds over. So when it hits zero, it's going to turn red. And then when it hits 10 seconds, the over mean, that's when it's going to start flashing red. And then we're going to say it's going to stop at 15 seconds over. And click OK. So what I've done here is basically it's a 45 second total. It's going to start, green is going to start at 45 seconds. At yellow is going to hit 
uh, at 15. It will turn red at zero. At 10, 10 seconds past zero, it will start blinking red. And at 15 seconds past, it will completely turn off all lights. And that is kind of how it's going to go. That's, that's your indicator for everybody. So I'll go in and I'll edit the next one. And manual, I want to call this one. This was going to be my uh, one minute countdown. It's going to be one minute total. Green is going to start at one minute. Yellow, I still want it 15. Over at 10. And I want it to stop at 15 seconds over. I will say OK. I will do the same thing for this one. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm editing these to match what I've already done with one of the units. I have two units here. Uh, this is the one I hadn't programmed yet. So we are going to do, set this one up to match the one I already programmed. It's going to create green, yellow at 15, over at 10. Stop at 15 over. And we're actually using this timer for a debate. And so the reason I'm programming the countdowns like this is we have options. Two minute for an opening statement. At 15 seconds, it's going to turn yellow. Zero, it's going to turn red. And this is going to give the, um, the politicians, uh, they're going to give them indicators how much time they have left. One minute responses, or if we have to shorten down to 45 second responses, we have that option here. And then you can go ahead and move up or down these to change the order that they'll show up in the menu. This is the way I want it. So I am going to, um, we can save as, save this setup as, which I already have saved it as, um, as a prompt. But uh, we are going to save to time prompt. And it's done. So now our time prompt has these settings within it for the countdown. I didn't change the count up. It's not something I'm going to use a lot. So we will use uh, the countdown. When you're done, you hit close, save changes, yes. And that's all there is to it. Now you can disconnect your time prompt and go ahead and start using it. And now I'm going to show you how you connect two of these and how they operate um, as a master and slave unit. So what we need first is we need an ethernet cable. In this case, I have one, and I'm going to connect both units using an Ethernet cable. So now they are connected. Your master unit needs to be on, and the receive unit needs to go into receive mode. And you'll instantly see that they it instantly synced up. And with this, I can do anything. I can hit any button on the receive, and it's not going to do anything. Everything's going to be controlled from this unit. So in this situation, you could mount this so everybody can see it, and then you can have a timer with this one as the controller, and it can control everything this one is doing. And so, for instance, if I do a 45-second countdown, I started it here. Everything is synced. And now that we get down to 15 seconds, it's going to turn yellow. And at zero, they turn red. And notice this whole time this is doing, if I hit any buttons, it's not stopping or doing anything. Everything is controlled here. And at 15, they shut off. So that is how you use the DSAN Time Prompt TP2000 timers. Uh, I think they're excellent units, uh, perfect for a lot of different scenarios, great for debates and things like that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and others on this channel, please consider subscribing. Always like our videos, leave a comment, and again, hit that notification bell. You'll know every time we upload a new video. You don't want to miss our tech reviews right here on Mike's World. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.